Hi, Year 7. Um, I hope you're all okay. As you can see from the pictures, I've been eating quite a lot of chocolate in lockdown. And so I thought I'd give you a project to do over the next um, couple of lessons, which hopefully will be quite fun. A bit of a competition as well. Um, to design your own fair trade chocolate company. Um, so basically, it's quite a big project, but it's going to be broken down into individual lessons. So each lesson, there's instructions on show my homework. Um, the learning objective is to understand how fair trade can help farmers in countries like Ghana and the Ivory Coast, which are the two countries you've just been studying. And you're going to use skills that you've used in English, um, so persuasive writing, you're going to use that quite a lot, technology and art to produce a design. So you're going to actually design your own chocolate bar um, and think about how fair trade helps those countries. OK. So um, first of all, you may have done this already, but there is a link to this little short clip. It's only about a minute. Um, called Blood Chocolate. So you're going to watch this and or hopefully you ho have already watched it, but you watch this clip and just write down a few words that come into your head as you write, as you watch the film. OK, so at the moment, the cocoa trade is not fair. Um, although this bar of chocolate has a fair trade symbol, many chocolate companies don't use fair trade and any chocolate bar that isn't fair trade um, the money that's earned goes to these different groups of people so for every one pound chocolate bar sold 40.5 pence goes to the chocolate company so it might be Cadbury's, Nestle that or Mars or whatever so nearly half of it goes to the chocolate company 28 pence goes to the retailer so that's like Tesco's or Spa or whatever 12 pence goes to the shipping companies so the companies that ship the products from Ghana over to the UK 6 pence goes to the cocoa exporters so they're people that um, live in Ghana that go and pick up the cocoa beans from the farmer and then drive it through Ghana to the port and 2.5 pence goes to the cocoa farmers so basically only 2.5 pence of every pound bar of chocolate sold makes its way to those cocoa farmers that work so hard in those cocoa fields cocoa farms in Ghana and the Ivory Coast so the whole point of this is to have an awareness an understanding of what is going on for these cocoa farmers which you've sort of studied a little bit already and then we're going to start thinking about how we can improve this so um, there's a few ways we can improve it um, and again there's two clips on show my homework so there's a short clip that sort of shows how unfair the chocolate trade is and as you can see in this image many children the same age as you so sometimes even younger um, work on these cocoa farms in Ghana doing really really dangerous jobs so this child here is using a machete to crack open the cocoa pods and in those pods there'll be lots of cocoa beans which they then have to extract by hand and don't forget this country is near to the equator so it's a really really hot country um there's mosquitoes there's also scorpions and many of the children don't have footwear so a lot of them get bitten um or stung by scorpions um it's really dangerous work it's long hours and often they don't get paid um and they are often taken away from their families to work on these farms um so it's kind of slave labor really really bad so what can we do to try and change the lives of these cocoa farmers on the other side of the world in Ghana and the Ivory Coast what can we do as individuals so buying fair trade chocolate which I try to do as much as possible um, and is becoming easier in this country to do um, and you can watch this short clip about swap your chalk and about why fair trade is so important so to see what fair trade actually does to make the farmer's life better. Basically, it gives the farmer a bigger percentage of the money so that they can invest and make their farm safer and they don't need to employ children and so on. 
And your task over the next four lessons is going to be to create your own fair trade chocolate company. And in doing that, you're going to create a post or a leaflet and you're going to design your own chocolate bar as well. Um, there is also some information about fair trade, which I will attach on to show my homework. Um, but you can also go to the fair trade, the official fair trade website and learn a little bit more about it. So it tells you kind of what they do, what the money's spent on and so on. So overall, and don't worry, this isn't just a task for one lesson. This is going to take you a couple of weeks. So you're representing a company that will have to bid Dragon's Den style to me and the rest of the class. Although you're only going to do this remotely and you're only going to do this to me by sending me your work. So don't panic about that. Your job is to design a fair trade chocolate brand that will sell and make the company money, but will also help the people of Ghana and the Ivory Coast. So before you um, present it, before you make your final presentation or speech, you're going to do the following tasks. You're going to try and come up with a product name, a logo for your chocolate bar, a fair trade logo and an example package. And there will be a template um, provided for you to do this. You're also going to design a promotional leaflet or a poster which um, sells your product. So you're going to explain why fair trade is so important, what life is like in Ghana and the Ivory Coast and why your company is going to make a difference to those people. And then finally, you're going to write a speech to me um, as if I'm the dragon um, that tries to sell your idea, to try and persuade me to invest in your country. And it is going to be a competition. So there will be a prize for the winning company. But like I said, this is going to be broken down into a few lessons. So don't worry about doing it all at once. I have uploaded all of the information so you can have a read through it. And some of you might want to start more of it. Some of you might get ahead. That's absolutely fine. But if you want to just break it down lesson by lesson, then that's a good way. OK, when I'm talking about slogans, you might recognise some of these slogans. Um, so these are just some slogans that different companies use so like thank crunchy it's friday just do it nike um have a break have a kit kat whatever it is um so you need to think maybe about what your slogan's going to be have a little think about that this week and then these are some logos so as you can see these logos really clear bold everyone around the world would probably recognize these logos um so think about what your company logo is going to be, because it needs to be easy to draw because you're going to have to draw it a few times. So it's got to be fairly simple, clear, bold and stand out. Okay. So planning your time. So this lesson, pretty much you've hopefully listened to this video and watched the other videos about unfair trade and how trade works. And that's basically all you need to do this lesson is just get your head around what this is all about. Um, you might want to start thinking about the name of your company and slogans and so on. Then lesson two. So our next lesson will be starting to design your company and you can use the template which is attached to show my homework to do this so basically there's an outline chocolate bar wrapper and you put your logo on design your chocolate bar etc lesson three is where you write a speech to me explaining why i should invest in your company and there will be guidance provided for this writing and you will use some of the techniques you've learned in english so your persuasive writing techniques to write this speech or letter to me and then lesson four you'll continue writing that and some of you might want to produce a leaflet or a poster or a powerpoint to go with it as well OK, so all you actually need to do is design your leaflet, sorry, design your chocolate bar and your company and write me a speech. But the winning company will be awarded a prize on return to school. OK. I thought it'd be quite good just to show you some examples of what students have done before. So um, this is an example of um, 
a group of students last year, I think, that made their own chocolate even. So some of you might want to do that with the help of parents, might try out different recipes or whatever. Um, but ultimately, they made a design and you can see how they filled in on the template, the reason why they chose that design, that logo and so on. This was another um, group which made a different chocolate bar. They Their company was Comet. The chocolate bar was Comet. And this is what they did. And again, they made the chocolate. You don't need to actually physically make the chocolate. You're just designing it. But I just thought I'd show you what some other students have done in the past. OK, so the challenge is on. Could you be the next Cadbury's? Could you be making the best chocolate bar design ever and do you understand what fair trade is and why it's really important for the people of Ghana and the Ivory Coast?